Okay, welcome back, children, to the lesson reproduction in plants. Right? So here are these all are plants, and practically today I am going to explain you about the plants. So here plants can able to reproduce by two ways. It can reproduce by two ways. Means it reproduction. What is meant by reproduction? Producing again. Producing again. So here plants can able to produce their species, right? It can continue their species by producing seeds, are etc. Right? So some of the plants they have seeds, some they don't have seeds. So let us see how do they reproduce? How do they increase their number? Right? So here, before that we have to know about the plant. And this is the uh, basic uh, diagram of plant. In this, what are these parts? It is very good. It is what it is. It is leaf, right? And it is stem. And it is root, right? If it contain, it is flower. It is flower, right? So here, when you observe here, root number one, root stem. leaf root stem and leaf these are called vegetative parts these are called vegetative parts vegetative parts these are called vegetative parts what are those leaf stem root i will explain you why it is called vegetative part and uh, other than root stem and leaf the next part is called as reproductive part next part is called as reproductive part reproductive part so why flower is considered as reproductive part why leaf is called as reproductive part right let us see here leaf stem root of the plant they unable to produce new plant they unable to produce new plant whereas flower of the plant can able to produce another plant right flower has the capacity to produce another part another plant by producing fruit and seed right so that's why here flower is called as reproductive part and remaining parts are called vegetative parts remaining are called vegetative parts so except the flower remaining are all called vegetative parts and flower is called reproductive part reproductive part of the plant right so here plant can able to propagate propagation is nothing but reproduce plant can able to propagate by the vegetative parts and as well as it can able to produce new plant by the using flower right so most of the non flowering plants the plants without flower they reproduce by following different mechanism right so here depending upon depending upon the mode of reproduction Uh, means the type of uh, producing the reproduction is divided into two types reproduction is divided into two types and what are they the two types of reproductions are number 1 sexual reproduction and number 2 asexual reproduction sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction here sexual reproduction where there is the word sexual reproduction here there is involvement of gametes there is involvement of gametes here there is a involvement of gametes in the sexual reproduction whereas in asexual reproduction there is no involvement of gametes there is no involvement of gametes right so here and uh, i have one doubt that what is this gamete what is this gamete gamete are the cells that are present in the flower gametes are the cells that are present in the flower which has the capacity to produce new life i already told you plant has the capacity to produce new life how could it produce new life by using gametes by using gametes so gametes has the capacity to produce new life gametes are nothing but cells for example we know that the plant body is made up of cells so the cells present in the root the cells present in the stem the cells present in the leaf it unable to produce plant but whereas the cells present in the flower can able to produce new plant right 
so the capacity the the cells which have the capacity to reproduce new plant it is called gamete it is called gamete so here we will discuss later about the gametes but remember gametes are the reproductive cells that are present in the flower so if gametes involve in production of new plant then it is called sexual reproduction in plant whereas other than gametes other than flower if from other parts if it can able to produce new plant it is called asexual reproduction so sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction remember this nana in sexual reproduction there is involvement of gametes and in asexual reproduction there is no involvement of gametes whatever it may be whether it is sexual or asexual but here reproduction is common means producing new life is the common thing right so here when you see the plant here you could i uh, i'm going to show you practically actually wherever the branches are producing it is called node this part is called node we call it as node right at the node you could able to see the branches of the leaf or otherwise branch of the flower whatever it may be at the node it starts right and uh, here it is the bud it is called axillary bud axillary bud and it is called terminal bud so I, i am going to show you right here it is so wherever the branches takes place it is called node it is what you call it is node so here are you able to see the bud axillary bud and here it is the terminal bud axillary bud and terminal bud are you able to see this is axillary bud here see axillary bud and here it is terminal bud so here terminal bud it is it involves in uh, elongation of the plant elongation of the plant whereas the axillary bud it gives branches flowers leaves etc right so these are the vegetative parts stem leaf root and buds these are vegetative parts of the plant if the vegetative parts involve in the production of plant it is called asexual type of reproduction so let us see what are the methods that are present in the asexual reproduction right what asexual reproduction in plants asexual reproduction in plant so what kind of asexual modes do uh, perform right so here uh, the first asexual method is vegetative propagation first one is vegetative propagation propagation means reproduction vegetative propagation what it means very good from the vegetative part it is going to reproduce by the using vegetative part and next one budding second one budding and third one fragmentation fragmentation and next fourth one spore formation spore formation all right now see here there are four types of asexual reproduction methods are there they include vegetative propagation budding fragmentation and spore formation right so here one by one let us see about them so here the first method is vegetative propagation we know that propagation means reproduction vegetative means vegetative parts what are the vegetative parts leaves stem root they are called vegetative parts so from by the by using vegetative part it is going to reproduce right so here in vegetative propagation uh, in vegetative propagation actually takes place by means of uh, itself naturally or otherwise artificially so for example uh, artificial artificial vegetative propagation artificial vegetative propagation in artificial vegetative propagation here uh, we can able to produce we can able to produce a new plant by using methods called cutting layering grafting cutting layering grafting these are the three methods by which the plant can able to reproduce artificially means we are going to do all these so number 1 cutting 
For example, sugar cane. Sugar cane don't have seed, Nana. Sugar cane don't have seed. So in case of sugar cane, in case of sugar cane, see here we are going to cut the plant at the nodes. We know that no at the node there is a branching. So at the node we are going to cut and the seed will be appear like this. Seed of the sugar cane appears like this. So when you sow this seed in the soil, then it produces roots. It produces roots and uh, it produces shoot. Shoot and root comes like this the sugar cane will grow. So it is what called cutting. Even jasmine flower, rose flower plants can be uh, reproduced by cutting method only, right? And next, uh, layering. Layering means if the plant stem is weak, if the plant stem is weak, then we can able to bend one of the stem into the soil. Into the soil, right? When you put it into the soil, then it slowly produces roots here. And you can cut it down here, then it becomes the new plant. It becomes new plant. So here it is called layering. Okay, next uh, last method is the grafting. In grafting, we are going to get the desirable characters. For example, at our home, there are two kinds of mango trees. Uh, our plant, one mango plant can able to give big mangoes right and another kind of plant it gives small mangoes here the mango is big but taste is less whereas this mango is uh, uh, small but taste is more now if you want big sized with good taste big sized with good taste then you can prefer the method grafting so here first you select both a and b plants for example, for A plant, you made a cut in the stem. In the stem, you made a cut, right? So, here it is the root. Now, plant B. Plant B should be cut in the same shape with a node. At least one node. At least one node. So, now, it is what called grafting. It is A plants. It is A plants, means it gives big fruit. It is B plants, means it can able to give sweet. So now, tie them together with the plastic cover for one week. After that, you are going to see both are connected together. And here, it can able to produce large fruit with good taste. Large fruit with good taste. So this is what called grafting, right? So all these are vegetative propagation by the uh, what you call artificial we are going to do that let us see naturally also it takes place naturally also vegetative propagation takes place with the help of roots stem and as well as leaves right so the very first one vegetative propagation by the stem right here uh, for example vegetative propagation by stem the best example is potato and onion. Potato and onion. Right? Potato and onion can be reproduced by the stem. Right? Uh, for example, potato. Potato, it is called tuber. Potato tuber. Potato tuber. On potato tuber, you could able to see eyes. From this eyes, there is a growth of new plant. There is growth of new plant. These eyes has the capacity to produce new plant. Here, potato tuber is a stem. It is not a root. Potato tuber is the stem. For example, see here. This is potato tuber. And uh, you could able to see the eyes. Here, eyes. Eyes, right? So here, on the eyes, there is a growth of plant root. Plant, plant stem. See. If you cut this and if you sow this in the soil, then definitely it gives you new plant. It is potato tuber. Potato tuber. The stem can able to produce new plant. Like that, onion bulb. Onion bulb. Onion bulb also, it is a stem. Onion bulb also, stem. It can able to produce new plant. For example, see this. It is onion bulb and it is root actually. These are roots. 
and it is onion bulb it can able to produce new plant see already uh, the leaves are appeared here this is the stem actually it is called bulb and whereas potato it is called tuber bulb and tubers right like this a stem can able to produce new plant whereas if you take the example root uh sweet potato sweet potato so sweet potato root can able to produce new plant sweet potato root uh, you can able to see the picture there so sweet potato tuber can able uh, root can able to produce new plant right here uh, sweet potato and as well as uh, dahlia plant also produce new plants through their leaf uh, what you call roots right next uh, reproduction by the leaves reproduction by leaves let us see how leaf reproduce here it is one leaf called bryophyllum the leaf called sorry bryophyllum bryophyllum is the leaf which can able to reproduce through the leaf bryophyllum plant leaf can able to reproduce through the leaf so on the leaf you could at the corners at the edges at the margins of the leaf there is a production of plants small plants right so there is production of small plants at the edges of the leaf it is called bryophyllum the example is bryophyllum example is bryophyllum bryophyllum can able to reproduce like this right and uh, uh, begonia is also one of the example leaf can able to produce new plants right uh, like this <coughs> vegetative propagation go on here what is the advantage of vegetative propagation even though there is absence of flowers even though there is absence of seeds simply by using the plant parts you could able to produce actually if you sow the seed it has to germinate it takes some time whereas directly we are getting plants from uh, parts of the plant without any effort right so this is the advantage of vegetative propagation right so here uh, this is one of the type vegetative propagation next uh, we'll discuss uh, more about the vegetative means asexual type of reproduction in further classes if you have any doubts you can ask me nana right thank you